Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Today we're going to keep taking apart the M120. I want to get all the accessories off the outside of the engine down, down to the bare block and then we're going to go and take off the cylinder head covers. So starting on this side we're going to take off the motor mount arm, we're going to take off this breather hose, the dipstick tube, and then we're going to take off this bracket right here. And then this breather hose actually goes all the way around to the other side of the engine. All the way over here, we're going to take off this motor mount and we're going to take off this motor mount arm. And then we're going to take off the oil filter housing slash AC mounting bracket. And then here's the breather tube from the other side. Then we're going to get this off the back of the engine also. All right, first we're going to take off the passenger side motor mount arm. That bolt is for the mount. As you can see, there's no mount. So we're going to take out these 13s right here. There's supposed to be a fourth 13 right here, but it's missing. So Next, we're going to take out the dipstick tube. You can see right here, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And then at the top of the dipstick tube, there's a four millimeter Allen right there. Now we can finagle the dipstick tube out of the hole. Next, we're going to take off this bracket. You can see there's some 13s here, here, here. And then also you can see that it's missing another 13 right there. So on this, you do want to pay attention to where the bolts go because you can see this one is a long bolt, short bolt. Next, we're gonna take off this breather tube. You can tell it's a little loose, but it was, it looks like it's been bent a little bit, bent this way, because you can see that even when this is snugged up, these don't match. They're about that far apart from each other. And this is just a five millimeter Allen to get that out. That's actually an air pump tube, not a breather tube. Well, I must have forgot to hit record because this side's off and I don't have it recorded. So uh, here it is, just a bunch of 13s and six millimeter Allens to get the bracket off and the bracket slash oil filter housing off. So let's get the valve cover off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these five millimeter Allens out. You can do that on both sides. Same, side, same for that side, but you're going to get all these out. That way you can take the spark plug wire cover off. And as always, pay attention to where your bolts come from and go because this long one goes right there. So I'm going to try to take this all off in one piece, this side at least. I'm going to undo all these and then this because I don't want to break this. So I'm going to undo, I'm going to remove all these spark plug wires from the spark plugs and then I'm going to take it off in one piece because you can see how it's lifting with all of them going through it. So that's how I'm going to take it off. Before you take these off, you can number them if you want. Uh, you can see if you have some original ones, they actually have the number on it. You can see right there it says five and that's one. Um, but if you want to put a, a number on the front of each one of these, it does make it a little bit easier to see, especially if your wires don't have these. So, um, or there's plenty of information out there as to how to set this up. So, which I'll go over that when it's all going back together too. All right, now that these are all disconnected, we're gonna remove these one by one. That doesn't look promising. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. Not that one either. It's pretty gross. 
Not too bad. Then just lift it off in one go. That's it. Next, we're gonna take off all these five millimeter Allens for the valve cover. You can see those. I think somebody's been in here because that's a 10. But we'll take them all off, then we'll finally get to see what it looks like inside here. And as always, make sure you remember where the bolts go because this one right here is the one that's different. You can see that one's a lot longer. Right there. So that goes there. The one right in the middle goes there. The short one. Now the valve cover might need a little motivation coming off. All right, let's see what we got. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, it's a little dry, but there's no excessive wear on any of the lobes. Lobes look nice, clean. I like it. Now I'm gonna repeat the process for the other side. And on the driver's side, there are two short bolts, one here and one here. Driver's side looks just about as good as the passenger side. You can see no excessive wear, everything is nice and clean and sharp. Awesome. Next, we're gonna take off the passenger side distributor cap and the driver side distributor cap and that as well. You can see these contacts in there, pretty burned. Pretty much all of them. It's getting replaced anyways. This one's almost worse. Next, we're gonna take off both cam adjusters, or cam magnets, whatever you wanna call them. Looks like the new ones that I put in the 119, how the inside edge is rounded where the original ones had a sharper edge to it and a sharper bevel whatever you're going to call it Now, if you remember the 119 video where I did the cam magnets, you were supposed to apply the orange stuff. I still have some of that orange stuff. I'm not sure if it's any good, uh, but that orange stuff is not available anymore. So I'm gonna have to find something that is compatible or that is very similar. Next, we're gonna take off the distributor rotors and these cups back here. It's a three millimeter Allen and there's three bolts on each one.
Yeah, you can kind of see how that's toasted. That one looks really toasted. Next, we're gonna to need to take off each one of these flanges from that side and the one on that side. That, you're gonna need a T44 and then loosen that up and then you can take that off. That side came off nice and easy. You can see this side has a notch and then there's a notch in there also where that needs to fit on. That side also, it's flange right there, a uh, notch right there that needs to fit on. There's a locating tab on the inside. It's just like that. Next, we're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five bolts on that side and one, two, three, four, five bolts on that side. And then we can remove the front cover. Make sure you remember where these bolts go because they are different. You can see this one looks like that. That one looks like that. And make sure you remember which side they go on because these two are different than these two. You see that's a shorty. That's a long one. This part right here sticks out farther than this does right here. This is a little recessed. You can kind of see right here where it's recessed farther than right there. So you're going to want to remember where all these bolts go. Now we can go and try to take these front covers off. Uh, I don't have a rubber mallet, so I'm gonna use the end of a junk screwdriver and I'm gonna tap it out towards the camera. Don't forget to replace that o-ring when it goes back together because that seals the coolant port that goes to the cylinder head. Now this side. Make sure you replace that gasket. Looks like somebody's been in here before. There's some gray silicone right here and some right here. And make sure you replace these seals also. Well, something doesn't look right because that should be way over here. Something like that. And it should have another piece over here. But other than that, they don't look too bad so far. They look better than the 119 did, but I'm gonna replace them all anyway. On the disassembly, I'm breezing through a couple of steps because I'm taking this thing completely apart. And because when I take it completely apart, I don't really have to pay too much attention to where things are because when I go back together, I'm gonna to put everything exactly where I need it to be and then um, everything's gonna work out fine. But if you were gonna stop right here, or if you're gonna take the heads off, but not take the front cover off and not take the timing chain out, 
you would want to get your crankshaft at 30 degrees before top dead center that way the valves aren't going to smack the pistons anything like that so um, but like i said i'm taking everything completely apart i'm taking all the cams out and taking these out and taking the heads off taking this front cover off taking the the upper oil pan off just like i did with the 119 i'm going to do this i'm going to and then when we get back to going back together then i'll show you how to get everything exactly timed perfectly so you don't run into any issues another thing you would want to do if you were not going to take the timing chain completely out is you would want to once you got the crankshaft timed you would want to mark your timing chain and then mark the gear and then mark the timing chain and then mark the gear and you'd want to do that on each cam gear that way when you're going back together you can put it back exactly how you took it apart and there's no question of it being timed incorrectly next we're going to remove this ventilation pipe right here goes right here and it comes up there's one t40 right here at the top all right don't laugh at me you need to remove the pin here for this guide rail but the pin requires a slide hammer that i don't have right now so i had a really 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 long bolt that was the right thread size for the guide pin or the, the guide rail pin and these washers are big enough that the guide rail pin can come through it and i'm just threading it out basically and when you get far enough It comes out. All right, so I lied. Uh, we're not taking the heads off in this video. Uh, this video has already gone on long enough, and there's a lot of things that I want to include when I take the heads off. Like I want to go over measuring the, the block and the heads to make sure they're not warped, make sure they're straight and nice and flat. So I want to do that. And we still have to take the cams out. We still have to take the cam caps out. We still have to take the head bolts off. There's a lot of different processes that need to be done in a certain order that are going to make the next video even longer so uh well, i'll do that next time but thank you for watching make sure you hit subscribe give me that thumbs up and make sure you hit the notification icon so you get notifications when i post a new video uh thank you for watching see you next time